Hey guys, welcome to day four of yoga. Um, here we go, I'm doing it here because I think she's gonna be like, it's yoga for your back, which I'm really excited about because my back always hurts. But yeah, I think it's mostly gonna be like on us, so. All right. Come in wherever you are, and a long exhale out. And we're gonna start today's practice, day four practice. Duh, on all fours. So make sure you take a deep breath in and out just to arrive on the mat. So we're moving kind of quickly into the practice today, but it doesn't mean we're going to like speed up our rhythm necessarily. But just start right away with a little gentle cat cow. So check in with your breath, take responsibility for your own happiness here. And for me, that means connecting to my breath. Inhale, drop the belly, press away from the earth. And exhale, curl the tailbone under. Begin to round up through the spine. And then we draw the navel up as we release the crown of the head down or nice deep into a mind my core forward. Inhale, scoop in the belly. Down, heart opens up. Crown of the head lifts, we press away from the earth. And exhale, curl the tailbone under. See if you can stay connected through the abdominals here. So we're not just kind of linky, lanky. Oh, I've never said that before. I'm kidding. We're not just, I usually say looky, slinky. Anyway, we're not just kind of mindlessly moving through this spinal flex, but really seeing if we can slow it down. And so maybe for the next couple passes, uh, go ahead and take your eyes, your gaze off the video and close your eyelids just so you can kind of get into the sensation here. We continue to breathe and just check the breath. Let's do one more wherever you are. Visualizing space between each vertebra, those discs, really creating a little bit of softness and awareness that you use throughout the body. All right, we'll come back to tabletop position. We're going to take the hips to the right, the head to the left. Uh, notice how the arms and legs and feet kind of want to come up. Stay connected. Keep some nice um, awareness through your foundation, even here. So we create kind of this crescent moon shape with the right side body. Take a deep breath in, exhale, back to center, and now hips to the left, head to the right. Stay connected through the tops of the feet, all 10 fingerprints pressing into the mat. <laughs> deep breath in, and on an exhale, we melt it back to center. Cool, heart to earth pose. We drop the elbows where the hands are. We try to keep the knees in line with the elbows, so this, this kind of uh, railroad track image here as we walk the knees back and we melt the heart. Now, this is where I'm guiding you to, but listen to your shoulders. If they're tighter, you might widen the elbows. If the hips are pinching, you might widen the knees. So always working to create space. You might find a gentle rock here. Oh, yeah, this one's awesome. And we continue to deepen the breath. Find what feels good. And we'll press into the tops of the feet. Take one more breath here. Inhale in. Exhale. Melt the heart down. Inhale to come up. Press into the earth. Slowly come back to all fours. <clears throat> Day four. All fours. All right. This time we're going to curl the toes under. And we're going to send the sit bones to the heels here. And nice and easy, walk the palms all the way up to the thighs. So just take a, a rest here. I just want to check in with the feet here. And you might use this time to check in with the shoulders, the neck, or you might just continue to deepen the breath. Find that pranayama. Breathing into the soul of the feet. And we'll dive back forward onto all fours. All right, this time, <clears throat> widen the knees as wide as the mat, bring the two big toes together. Walk the palms out just ahead of the shoulder points. And we're going to inhale, reach the right fingertips forward, stretch through the right side body. And on an exhale, weave those right fingertips in and under. 
underneath the bridge of the left arm. We come to rest on the right ear here. And I press into the left palm. It's one of my favorites here. Sit bones, rock up towards the sky. If you can find this kind of cool rock in the pelvis, it feels really great on the back body. And we breathe here. For a deeper stretch, you can press up and out of those left fingerprints. Or you can reach the left palm all the way up towards the center of your neck. Breathe deeply here. And then, if you're feeling a little frisky and you want to um, meet your edge here, have a little fun, you'll curl the left toes under and maybe slowly keep your left toes on the ground and slide the left leg out. Find that sit bone to heel connection. And if you feel like, oh, I'm going to fall over, connect to your core, navel to spine, Uddiyana Bandha. Nice uh, Bandha or lock here to engage the full body experience. One more breath here. Press into that left heel. And on an exhale, we release and unravel and take it to the other side. All right, same thing here. We inhale. We reach the left fingertips forward. Keep this length in the side body as we weave left fingertips in and underneath the bridge of the right arm. Pelvis rocks up towards the sky, and I use my right fingertips to find the best stretch to breathe into the back body. So maybe it's here, maybe it's here, or here. If you're feeling a little adventurous, press through your foundation, anchor navel to spine, curl the right toes under, and slide that right foot back. Find that sit bone to heel connection. So I'm really pressing out through that right heel, finding my breath. and then unraveling it back down again. Cool. <clears throat> Walk the palms out, curl the toes under, send it up and back, downward facing dog. Pedal it out. Find a little movement here. Breathe deep. All right, and we'll... <clears throat> Uh, wiggle it out, and then find a place of stillness here for three breaths. So we might turn the two big toes in slightly, melt the heart back, keep a soft bend in the knees here, and breathe in and out for three breaths. Going through your checklist, one more breath. Awesome, my friends. And we'll walk the palms nice and slow back up towards the toes. So we're coming to the back edge of the mat here, folding forward, Uttanasana. Keep a generous bend in the knees if you need to, or a nice soft buoyancy, so we just don't want to lock here. Okay, stretching the lower back body, stretching the backs of the legs, letting the weight of the head go. We find our breath, and we maybe find a gentle sway here, just working out the kinks, maybe walking to the left, and walking on to the right. Maybe grabbing the elbows, of course. So we explore. Then we'll inhale, halfway lift, come to that flat back position. We're gonna hold here for a couple breaths, just working out um, the kinks and going through our checklist. So pulling the elbows back, making sure we're not uh, locking the legs, but staying soft, excuse me, through the knees, navel draws up. And we see if we can create one nice long piece from the crown of the head to the tip of the tailbone. So we kind of have to check in with our inner mirror here, and I love that. One more breath. And on an exhale, slide it down. Keep the knees softly bent and walk your palms all the way out to plank. <clears throat> so we're going to bend the right knee into the center, stretch through the left calf. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, switch. Inhale in and switch. Keep it going. Connect to your core. Press away from the earth with your palms. Keep it going. Dipping the knees down nice and slow. Finding that, <clears throat> excuse me, sit bone to heel connection. And creating a little bit of heat in the body. Awesome. Now we'll lower both knees. Hug the elbows into the side body and lower down gently. Inhale, find your cobra today. Nice and soft and slow. You might move around a little bit here. And then slowly we'll release. 
come back to all fours, send the sit bones all the way back for a child's pose. So here we're going to actively breathe into the lower back. Send breath, send energy to your lower back. So in these resting poses, uh, for me, it's, it's, it's really not about checking out, zenning out. It's really about zenning in, <laughs> checking in. So use the power of the breath here to breathe into the back body. See if you can feel the skin of the back stretch with your inhale. Imagine the soles of your feet melting down a little bit closer towards the heels on that exhale. Stay focused on your breath. Inhale here, we'll come back to all four. Curl the toes under and send it on up. Now we're facing dog. Deep breath in here, and deep breath out as we anchor through the heels. Don't even worry about whether the heels are coming close to the mat or not. Who cares? Felt the experience, so really breathe deeply. And then one day when you're not paying attention to the pose and you're just enveloped in your experience, you're going to be like, wow, my heels touched the mat. That's, that's what happened to me. It's like, holy moly. And still, still, <laughs> well, Texas girl. Still, sometimes I notice that, you know, it's okay, sometimes I'm here. One more breath. And then we'll walk the palms back <clears throat> to the toes once again, and we find Uttanasana. This time, Yogi's Choice, you can keep the feet hip width apart, or you might heel toe, heel toe, the feet together. A little softness in the knees as we relax the weight of the head down and breathe into the back body. If you're wanting to go more to the lower back, if you're like, oh yeah, mama, well, then bend the knees a little more. Could be a little frisky today. Day four, frisky. Wow. One more breath. And then we'll inhale, halfway lift, long, beautiful neck, find it. Inflate with an inhale in and use your exhale to slide it down. So we follow the breath, breath with the movement, movement with the breath. Walk your palms back out to plank. Here we go. This time, <clears throat> we're going to press away from the earth, and instead of dipping the knees down, we're going to lift the heels up. What? So we inhale in, exhale, toes touch. Inhale in, exhale, toes touch. Deep breath in, exhale, release. Inhale, exhale. Keep, maintain that sit bone to heel connection that we found earlier. Inhale. Deep in awareness through the backs of the legs. And one more on each side. You got it. Whew. And then we can either stay here and lower down or lower the knees. Hug the elbows into the side body and we lower ourselves. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Gentle back bend here. Keep it nice and soft. Again, just find a little movement that feels right. And we will send it back to child's pose. Again, using the power of the breath to stretch the back body. This time you might reach the fingertips behind you. Even turn the palms face up, letting the shoulders relax. So you can choose a variation that suits you today and find your breath. more breath here. Take the deepest breath you've taken all day. Nice. Then we'll send the fingertips back up. We'll find our way back to all fours. Day four, all fours. Oh, easy. And then we'll send it up to downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Long breath out. Soften through the knees, use the palms, walk them back to the toes. Uttanasana, forward fold. This time we're going to interlace the fingertips behind the calves and bend the elbows left to right. We might 
do you know breath and practice, we might be able to find a little more space in the legs, but you can keep a nice generous bend. In fact, that's really nice for the lower back. So just be in the moment, listen to your body. Breathe in. And on an exhale, we'll slowly extend the forehead, the crown of the head towards the front of your mat. Gently release. Inhale, extend, straighten the leg. And release, bending the elbows left to right. And last time. And release. Awesome, spread the fingertips wide. Walk the palms, last time, out to plank. So this time we're gonna do uh, some toe tapping, but we're gonna take it to the side. So we'll inhale in. And exhale, send the right toes out off your mat. Inhale to center, exhale to the left. Maintain that sit bone to heel connection so we're not just, but we're creating full body strength, full body experience as we move back and forth. Back and forth. Hips are going to want to come up or sink down. See if you can maintain one solid piece. It's hard, but we tap into that inner mirror. And we use our breath. If the going gets tough, use your breath to let go of some energy. Stir it up. Let's do two more breaths. You got this. And then we release. Awesome, everyone. Send it back. Child's pose. Take a rest. Really nice work. Relax your jaw, soften the forehead. Life is good. You can bring your arms up here. And if we're still working on building strength in the wrist, you might find a little wrist relief by doing some wrist circles or a little wrist massage. We bring the palms together up overhead. Take one more deep breath in here. Remember why you got on the mat today. Smile. And then we'll release the fingertips. Last time, back to all fours, day four, all fours. And we're just gonna swing our legs to one side and come to a nice flat back position. Good work, my friends. When you arrive, hug the knees into the chest. Oh, yeah. Give yourself a nice big hug. You might rock a little gently side to side. All right, sending the fingertips out left to right. We'll inhale, scoop the tailbone up. Exhale, melt the knees to the left. Turn onto your right ear. Maybe use your left palm to guide the outer edge of your right thigh a little deeper into your twist. So if you're hanging here, don't worry. In time, we'll begin to find that space. I used to have back pain, and I have no, none, no back pain now. And I feel like it's from slowly finding the length and space to come into postures like this reclined twist here. So relax, soften into the sensations and listen to your breath. Listen to what your body is telling you today. And we'll slowly release it back to center. Nice massage as we come on through, and then take it to the other side. Outer edge of the right palm, excuse me, right palm comes to the outer edge of the left leg, and then turn on to the left ear here. Close your eyes again, listen to where your body is telling you today. Hug the knees into the chest one last time. And then slowly release the soles of the feet to the mat. Extending the right leg out long, followed by the left. Take a deep breath in, reach the arms up and overhead, full body stretch. Good morning, good morning. Even if you're practicing this at night. <laughs> good morning. Yep, yep, yep. Here we go, deep breath in. And on an exhale, we release the arms. Sorry for that sit bone twist. Gently rock the head a little side to side. Smile, life is good. Life is good. You might 
There's some yoga for your back if you ever have problems with up here if you just like like that and also I know not a lot of people can do this but this helps with my between my shoulder blades but you can try it I mean go ahead go for it just don't hurt yourself <laughs> I've hurt myself a couple times doing this. Also, this is kind of like proof that like you have no excuse, you know. Um, oh, I don't have a yoga mat. Oh, I don't have enough room. You saw me. I had my hands and my feet were all up in my blankets and <laughs> I was hitting this shit. Um, yeah, no excuses, guys. Yoga with Adrian. Um, thanks for watching. That was day four. Stay tuned. Namaste tuned. <laughs> oh, that's lame. Okay. <laughs>